Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is mainly going to be for a plasma cutter, but you could use this with your laser. It would be a pretty cool design. I had somebody on Facebook page, on a burn tables, plasma Facebook page, uh, want to know if anybody had this file, so I just kind of drew it real fast. So I took in a piece of clip art. It was real easy to find. It was almost exactly the copy he wanted, but as you can see, it's real pixelized. So just really quick, doesn't take very long, go to bitmaps. You don't have to bitmap this file, I don't think. So let's go to just trace, outline trace, clip art. Take just a second. It's going to do a little something weird on this particular case, but I'll show you how to, and that's why I'm making the video because it's a little bit different. It took all the feel away, but I'm good with it. So now we're going to take this away. And we're going to get rid of our copy. We're going to bring this back in. And we're going to uh, left click on the outline. So that's, it was just, it traced just the outline, which is pretty cool. We need to get rid of this bottom line. Well, you know what? We really don't probably need to. Um, so let's just put it in the center of the page press P on your keyboard. Let's get the ellipse tool and just don't hold down your control button and just make a funny ellipse, your shape, whatever you want. Let's zoom in here a little bit. That doesn't look half bad because we'll probably bring it down anyway. So for the video, I'm going to make that work. Let's bring it down just a hair more. That's probably good. Now, take your ellipse and go up to Effects, Contour. We're going to contour to the outside. I'm going to say a half of an inch. That's pretty good. Get this window out of the way. Go to Arrange, Break Contour Apart. I like everything in red. It wouldn't really matter, but we're going to make that hairline red. Yeah, it would have been easier if I would have deleted those lines first. But just get your Virtual Segment Delete Key tool and just delete these lines. If I would have done them first, it would, I wouldn't have to do this. You could actually delete the bottom line and uh, let's zoom in here a little bit. This is pretty easy. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this side and I'm going to show you we're going to delete one more line. All right. Now we just need to delete this line. That fast. Get your Smart Fill tool. And we have no leaks. And that will definitely cut out with your plasma, uh, with your laser. You might need to do a little bit cleaning up with your, uh, for plasma, because uh, it's going to have a, quite a few nodes. So let's do this. Let's just go ahead, and, since I'm doing this for plasma cutters, let's break this apart. Go up to Arrange, Ungroup, get your Shape tool. And it doesn't really have that many nodes for considering the graphic, but I would, you know, probably get rid of some of them because it's some jagged edges. Like you probably don't need that one. And I would just go through and delete ones you think you don't need. Like that'll work. You know, that actually probably is needed to give a little contour to the shape. Like these right here, you don't need. Uh, so the less nodes you have, especially in plasma cutting, the better off you are because your plasma is going to run from node to node. And if you ever see ones that are, well, let me just back up here. If you ever see ones like this, right here, well, this is a, it's a double node. Just click on it and delete it. Matter of fact, you can delete both of them. So I'd go through here and delete nodes you don't need. And even if you delete a node that you think you need, like, don't need that one. 
don't really need that one, but you could make the saddle maybe look more like a saddle just by adjusting your nodes. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.